Alright, I got this in the mail this week. My Tarantula XX and my uh, 5.8G FEV system that they sell for the Sima X5 quadcopter. Alright, since the weather was bad, I had a couple of days to uh, see what I can do to improve my Tarantula. So what I did is I actually installed the uh, Sima S bracket to the battery door of the Tarantula X6. The wiring is slightly different so it doesn't quite work to record in this configuration so what you need to do, this system works off uh, a ground pulse, short pulse, for it's recording pictures and if you hold it for about a second it will start recording your video. Right, so what I do is before I fly all I need to do, here's the screen, I'll discuss how to mount this in a second. All I do is short these two wires out, short, that was a photograph. Now, if I short them out longer, you can see the record comes on, right? Now, when I'm done flying, I short this out again, it stops recording. Eventually, I'm going to get a pigtail, put it on here, put a micro push button switch on here so I can just press it for a second and activate the camera so I don't have to carry the stupid wire around with me when I go fly it. Right. Very easy to mount, right? The screen, what I had to do on the screen is I had to make a little aluminum bracket that locates off the uh, two holes that are used on the SIMA controller to locate the screen from moving around. So I made an aluminum bracket, put three holes in it, drilled three small screws in the top of the remote and screwed it to there. Right, it works very well. Looks really good actually, same width as the controller. Right, this is about the cheapest FPV system you're going to be able to put on your tarantula. Right, it works pretty decent. There's very little jello. I haven't tested it on the tarantula yet, but I've got to test it on the DM007. And I found out it's uh, too heavy for it. You only get about a minute and a half, two minutes flight time. Now, my... Uh, landing gear this is actually the adjuster rods from my blinds I was watching TV and looked over at my blinds and all of a sudden a light bulb went off and I grabbed one came to the shop and I made a little pattern to see if it can be bent and how strong it is and how it would work this is a stock landing gear you can see it's uh, very weak didn't take much to break it, right? I wouldn't really want my camera being saved by this. So what I did is um, took a lighter, heated it, bent it, bent it slightly. When it gets hard again, just heat it slightly and just work it with your fingers. You don't need that much heat, right, to make a nice shape, right? I used the white one first to make a pattern before I wrecked my only... Uh, dark blue one I had here that matches my black uh, skids better and then okay once you're done bending it to the shape you want right what you do is you make a mark about two inches up two inches up on each one of the skids you take your lighter you heat this up heat this up till it becomes super soft you put it in here and you squeeze it down as far as you can don't force it you'll break it or you'll split it once it doesn't want to go anymore, heat it up a little bit more, push it till you see the line, right? And do the same thing on this side, heat it, push it in, and what we'll do, what will happen is this PVC here will actually uh, contour to the shape of the skid, right? And when it cools, it's going to be impossible to remove. You'll actually have to heat it to get it off the skid, right? That's cheap little upgrade for the landing skid. Now you can carry a GoPro, I can carry my uh, Jello mount that I uh, 
modified, right? It makes it super strong, right? I also put four extra screws in the landing gear. They're, it's got little bungs there, but they don't have any holes drilled through, so I put that in there. Battery uh, wire mod. The battery, uh, or the, tra the quadcopter has its wires up front, and the battery plugs in up front. And it's a pain in the ass to go flying when you have to take the stupid door off, do the battery up, close the door, put everything back together, right? The thing's been blinking for like a minute, right, of, you know, lights blinking everywhere. So what you do is you cut the grill out. You're going to have to take these wires out of this connector. Make sure you mark the black one so you put them back in the right order. You're going to have to poke a little needle that will bend the little tab that releases the pin, pull it out backwards, reroute it to the back of the quadcopter. Right. There's a hole on the, on the connector. You can poke it to bend the little retaining clip back in place after. Insert the wires back in. You'll notice they'll clip in and they'll lock in place. Right. Then now what you're going to do is Here's the mount attached to my uh, battery box lid. I drilled four little holes, four little screws, put the S bracket on there. I can attach the uh, Wi Fi cam, the 4.8G FPV for the SIMA. Clips right on there. I can use it on my SIMA. Right. You can charge it. You can actually leave the battery in. You can charge it in the quadcopter, or you can take it out and charge it. You want to, I'm going to, I got three of these, two more of these coming. This one's going to stay with the uh, FEV system on it. The other one is going to mount my carbon fiber mount. I've already had this on there. These holes lined up perfectly already. All I have to do is drill these two holes and it actually fits onto the little clips right here little washers, little screws, attaches it. It's very, very solid. All right, this is a GoPro carbon fiber mount I bought. It's super lightweight. All right, I'm using it on my SJ4000. It's slightly uh, thicker camera. So what I have to do is make little spacers and use longer screws to put the back cover on the camera. And I've cut out the center on the carbon fiber so I can actually see the screen and see what I'm doing on the menu when I'm playing with the camera. Very easy to mount. Looks a lot more professional than bungee cording it onto your camera or using these awful uh, plastic mounts. Should take away the jello in your videos. Have to test it. Maybe tomorrow the weather is nicer. Now, the other mod I've done is I've taken the uh, prop guards, cut them as close to the back here I could cut them, and I flipped them around because they actually look way better flipped the other way, and they're kind of useless over here. I screwed them on. First time I grabbed one of the prop guards, it fell off because basically the screw head's the same size as this pin, so they don't work. They're not going to stop anything. They're just a waste. But if you want to keep the light covers, cut them down, flip it around, looks much better. Right. Very easy to mount the camera. Very easy to go fly. And the landing gear clears the GoPro. Oh, and the most important mod, I had to put some red paint on the fangs because it just looks way cooler. Thanks for watching, and keep tuned for the flight test. Thanks.